Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a quick review of the L style shell lock punch. I bought this, well it was quite a few months ago now, I bought it from Darts Warehouse which is uh, in New Zealand, it only took maybe about 3 or 4 days to get here to the UK which I thought was pretty amazing really. Um, at present on the Darts Warehouse site it costs £30.29 I think I might have paid a little bit more than that at the time because I got it when it first came out and it came with this little uh, enamel badge and I haven't really used it since I bought it so I thought I might as well review it now and use it for the first time. At the moment Darts Warehouse is selling the shell lock punch with um, four extra bags of rings so I assume that means four bags of six because that's what you get. You get a bag of six of the shell lock rings and you can buy the rings separately which is uh, £2.30 I think on the Darts Warehouse dot com website the uh, price is quite expensive really for something like this at 30 pound but if it's something that you've been using like the champagne style rings then you probably know that you like it and you might want to just do it to your own flights so I suppose if the punch lasts say 10 years and that's only £3 a year so that's one way you could look at it but having said that I still think it's a little bit expensive um, this is the target flight punch just as a comparison for the size so it's quite a bit bigger than that it's a nicely made um, tool but I think a price of maybe about £15 would have been more like it. The only thing I'm not sure of is whether it does different shaped flights. As far as I know it only does the standard shape so that's like another negative against it I suppose but I'm going to try a few different shapes and see what happens. The idea behind the uh, shell lock rings is well it's got three advantages advantages it says it's one to keep your flight securely fitted to your shafts two is to keep the uh, flight at an 80 degree angle they've got little grooves on the caps which uh, you wings your flights slot into and it's also three it's meant to prevent a robin hooding Right, um, it says you've got to open the flight up when you want to uh, put your slot in. I don't think you'll be able to see that but there's like a little V-shaped slot in there. You put your flight in and make sure the edges are against that guide. Let's keep it steady, press down and there you go you've got your, your nicely cut out shape, just open that, now you're supposed to slot the wings of the flights into the groove that you've just, a bit fiddly. Alright, I haven't got it in the grooves yet. I think that's in now. I don't know if it has a recommendation on a particular uh, thickness of flight. These are 
these are only like an average flight really I wouldn't say that the uh, the wings have opened up fully at 90 degree so I don't really think them grooves are forcing the wings at 90 degrees they are sitting in the slots but I don't know if you can see it doesn't look like a 90 degree to me anyway let's see I'll put the uh, shaft let's see what happens it might straighten up a bit more now whether you need any particular nylon shafts to suit the caps it's another thing I'm not clear on but I don't think it's fully seated into the uh, stem there although the cap is on the edge of the top of the shaft but well, it doesn't look 90 degrees still it's probably as close as you're going to get though I'm going to try it with uh, some other stems as well just to see whether there's any difference as for, I don't know I see if I can get a close up so you can see that but to me it looks like the cap isn't going into the uh, the shaft isn't going into the cap fully but that could be because the slots in the stem only go down so far so I don't know it's fairly uh, secure like onto the stem but the idea is that when your dart comes in it's supposed to skim over the cap I suppose it depends how the dart hits it because I mean if it was to hit it straight on like that it's not going over it but if it hits like that it does uh, I'm not convinced that they're going to fully work but it's got to be better than a, or a pigeon ring or a, a spring clip but I think a lot of these things like this uh, I geared more for soft tip play than steel tip. Alright, I'll get you a close up. Alright, there's a close up of the uh, flight that I just punched with the shell lock punch and the cap fitted. Well, as to me, I don't think the cap is fully seated under the shaft, but could depend on what shafts you use and it's not perfectly a 90 degree but I think it's as good as it's going to be with a flight you can see the grooves in the cap Alright, I'm going to try some different flights and different shafts. 
Alright, I'm just going to try some pear shaped flights just to see whether or not it's possible to get. You see that is the problem with this bit, with the different shape is you put it into there and it wobbles from side to side so I think they're only designed for standard flights which is a bit annoying if you don't like standard. Well, I always use standard flights anyway so it's not a problem for me as such but I guess you can still do it if you keep the flight nice and straight. We'll see what happens. See to me I think that's a little bit off centre. You might not be able to see that but it hasn't come out perfect. So, all I can assume is that the punch is just designed for uh, standard shapes. I'm going to stick it on a spiral line stem this time. You see, it's definitely not gone on straight. But the cap has fitted better on that stem than the other stem that I used. So, just do a quick comparison, see how this yeah that's a much better fit than that so it looks as if the stems that you use can affect how well the cap seat sits down I don't think there's a point in me trying any other shapes really That's a kite shape, but I don't think it's going to be any better than the pear shape. So to me that's a little bit of a disadvantage, is if you can only use one shape, see it wobbles too much. Let's try the standard again. It doesn't wobble with the standard. <laughs> Hasn't cleanly cut it that time. I'm going to try one different type of stem. I'm going to try a Target Pro Grip stem just to see what happens. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever used it, so maybe there's a knack to getting it perfect. Let's see whether it works on this target program. Yeah, it works okay on that. Quite uh, tight as well. Alright, I'm going to chuck a few darts with them and see how they perform. So, basically if you get the right stems, they work quite well. They sit down nicely and if they prevent the robin hooding, that's a bonus. If they keep your flights seated nice and straight, then that's a, a good thing in my book. But I'll let you make your own judgement from what you've seen me doing here. Alright, let's give them a quick try out. Alright, I've been uh, using these darts now for a couple of days with the uh, shell lock caps on. I've been using nylon deflector grip stems and 
they work pretty well with these actually. Um, I've probably had maybe about three or four hours use with them and the flights never popped off once. Uh, they've performed quite well actually. I'll just have a few throws with them now. So I've not had any problems with the flights popping off, so that's one good thing, the, the flights stay on nice and tight. I'm just trying to get some contact, but <laughs> it's not easy to try and um, show you how the, the caps work, but almost had one there. I think overall it's quite a good system but it's just the price I think that's a little bit off button. Anyway, there you go, it's the shell lock flight punch. Uh, it's a system that, if it was cheaper, I'd probably recommend it. But with it being £30, I think it's something that you're going to have to make up your own mind with. It's something that you may like. But you may be better off just trying the L style Champlain uh, flights and the stems first because I don't know whether the uh, idea of using the shell lock is going to be any good for somebody that likes to use pear shaped flights and other different shapes because it seems to only work with standard so that's another problem but oh, there you go, that's the end of the review, thanks for watching.